Hey, it's cool here if you don't know, and it is time for a brand new long run. Um, so if you're watching this live, you might remember that we just came off of Lufia 1 a couple of weeks ago, followed by a game that um, I really wish would have uh, gone a lot better than it did, because it had a lot of promise, but uh, anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, so during Lufia 1, we uh, got a request from Jomara Wanuki, who is here in chat, for Lufia 2. And so that is what we're going to be doing today. Also, I'm closing windows here that I really should not be doing. So without further ado, let's get this started. Some serious fun by Natsume. the world, be gods or humans. It's only natural that we control the world. Hmm. But why do you ask that? Judgment time along with the dual blade has come. Are you seeing that the dual blade is resonating? Would you? Yes. Lufia 2, Rise of the Sinistrals, with something that definitely doesn't look like an islander version of the Triforce. Okie dokie. Um, so to establish something here, I'm using a patch called Fruit Trilogizer, uh, which is basically a patch called through Lufia, which is a bunch of quality of life improvements, and you can check that out over on romhacking.net. I don't have a link handy right now, but um, it's on there. It's F-R-U-E, so true, but with an F instead. And then on top of that uh, is the Fruit Trilogizer patch, um, which basically brings some of the names and terminology and things in line with the other existing patches for the first and third games. So um, gives it a bit of consistency that way. So let's uh, get this started. And uh, this time not naming my uh, hero Kulo, we're gonna go with the canonical name of Maxim for this. This is already looking a lot fancier. Tia, are you home? Hi Maxim, how was work today? Alright, I got six jellies. Let's see, that'll be 120 gold pieces, right? Wait a minute Tia, I said six jellies, that comes to 180 gold pieces. Look, monsters are cheap these days. The city's suffering, so I can't pay the top price. Yeah, that's 
it's true. More monsters every day. It's spooky, you know. Well, I should appreciate it, though. I'm a monster hunter. I'd lose my job without them. Maxim, have you thought about getting an ordinary job? What is an ordinary job, anyway? Let's see. Like... A shop owner, perhaps? Me? Shop owner? <laughs> That'll be the day. How can you be so insensitive? Did you say something to you? <sighs> Forget it. Here's your money. Well, looks like, um... Looks like our hero Maxim here is about as clueless as Kulo was. And now we are in control. I'm going to assume that there is probably some items uh, hidden about here. Maxim, please be careful. Anyway, do you need anything? Oh, that, that is a much different interface than the first game. Wow. Um, oh, EQ. It's all different. Okay, kneeling down means can yeah. Okay. anything that we really want to sell to begin with. But hey, we start with 10 potions. That's, that's pretty good. I don't know if I want to upgrade my equipment just yet. You know what? Screw it. Let's do it. Go ahead and set the repeater here. And we can equip from the um, from the menu interface. Uh, from the, the shop interface, rather. Right? Oh no, your internet died. Hopefully it doesn't keep doing that. I'm gonna sleep in your bed now, hope that's okay. This game's UI is far superior. Also, no item limit. I imagine there probably, at, like, technically is one, just that it's high enough that you never really need to worry about it. It's like 300 or so. Okay. Okay, sure. At least we get a free place to stay. And here we got our magic items of spells. So we buy spells in this game. Spell for any enemy. What is an R button anyway? I don't know. Do you know? Yes, yeah, so revamping how spells work. Are there items hidden, like, in furniture and stuff in this game? Because, like, I haven't found a single one yet. Oh, never. Okay, well, then I don't have to worry about wasting my time. 
has only chests. I've never seen the safe thing. Is it something you can eat? <laughs> so all spells come from the spell shop. Duly noted. Never sell old gear. Well, I just sold my knife. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, okay. I do know some things about Lufia too, and now I know what you're referring to. I will try not to, to sell anything. I'm guessing the lift is bring back from the dead. Okay, sure. Well, we found Sid. I wonder where the, the airship is. The secret skills game. You took so long, Maxim. Let's go ahead and start the lesson for, sec for secret techniques in the dungeon. First, the most important thing is to learn about the pattern of the monster's movements. Monsters only move when you move, so don't worry even if a monster is in front of you. Oh good, I see a jelly right there. Why don't you try to get that jelly? AJ hey, Pop, I do. That's our Maxim, jellies are nothing for him. Don't get cocky, some monsters are fast, gaining two steps to your one. Also, when there are many monsters in the room, don't let them surround you. Of course, the monsters only move when you move, so stop and think before you act. Good, let's move on to the next room. Enter from the door over there. Also, yeah, and also press other buttons to uh, do things. Jelly was worth more of what you got in the shop. In this room, we will learn how to use skills. Press the select button to display the skills you have. Select the skill you wish to use. You now, you now have only the skill arrow, but you will receive more. Incidentally, arrows can freeze enemy movement for a while. Press the Y button to shoot them. When you hit an enemy with an arrow, it's temporarily paralyzed. Bumping into a paralyzed enemy doesn't lead into a battle. Skills never run out, so shoot an arrow when you don't feel like fighting. Select the skill you wish to use with the select button and press the Y button to use it. You might use your skills often in dungeons. You can fight with the jelly there or use arrows to stop his movement and not fight. It's up to you. Okay, so it's a ring menu. That's pretty neat. I see you have the fast walk speed. Yes, we're using uh, the Fruit Trilogizer patch. The bridge gave way, but can be crossed when the switch in the back is shifted. The switch is not within your reach. Hmm, we're in trouble. We can't go on. No, I was just kidding. You can also use skills in a situation like this. Walk speed is vanilla, actually. God damn it, J-Pop. Arrows are not only to stop enemy movement. Why don't you hit that switch with an arrow? Yes, yes. You don't get to come with me, old man. Hmm. 
Okay, we don't get to go over there. Be kind of funny if he didn't follow us because I uh, toggled the bridge again. Or at least pointed out the fact that I did. The door to the next room is locked. Can you find the key to open it? Can you see the switch up the upper left? Stand on top of it. See? That opened the door. However, step off the switch to close the door. Got it? In other words, the switch works only with something on it. Now what should you do? The answer is this pillar. Stand next to the pillar and walk while pressing the A button. Okay, so it's only push, no pillar. Got it. That's right, Maxim. Please wait a moment, I almost forgot. Forgot to give you one very precious spell. You can't survive the dungeons without it. It's the reset. If there is a puzzle like this in the room where you must where you push something, you must remember one thing. Although you can push the pillars, you can't pull them. In other words, if you push the pillar against the wall or door, you can do nothing more. But don't worry, there is a reset spell that sets it all up again. The spell sends you back in time to when you just entered the room. Everything in the room returns to its original position, including the monsters. Reset does not take any MP, thus you can use it as many times as you wish. Possess this spell and you'll have nothing to fear. I shall give you the reset spell. You can also find reset on the skill ring. Press select and up or down on the control pad. Oh, so there's multiple rings. Interesting. The game is better than that in literally every sense. I mean, except for this whole handholdy thing that I'm not really a fan of. But I guess it's not really a super deal breaker, just a bit annoying. Whenever you see arrows like those on the cliff on the right, you can jump down. Give it a try. The next door will be open for you to feed all the monsters. When you can't find any devices or tricks, one way to solve a problem is to defeat all the monsters. I guess if I'm on a ladder, I can't, uh, I can't slash. Yeah, I kind of figured that was probably the case, Drew. to swing your sword. You can cut grass using the sword. Sometimes switches are hidden under the grass. Why don't you try to find them? Oh, it's just one by one, huh? Can I use... No. Can't use the arrow. Gotta use the sword. I mean, it's pretty obvious where the switch is. I'm just being a completionist here. Press the A button to pick up and put down the base. This is a unique skill. Press the control pad while pressing the R button to change the direction without moving. You need this skill to change direction when there is no, move, no room to move freely. Don't forget how to use the R button. Let's see. What do you think will happen if we put the plate if we put the pot on that slate? Why don't you try? Oh, 
Oh boy, you with the, the big brain. Well, I guess I finished the lesson. Of course, you have only begun to learn. To get through many dungeons, you must try many different things. It's not easy to do, but I'm certain you'll make it. Well, I must be off. I could have avoided this fight, but I think this will give me a lot of weapon. <laughs> sure enough. Now question. Does leveling up restore health? It does not. In fact, it doesn't even proportionally restore health. Like I had 12 points and I still have 12 points. So what do you think? Can you capture the dungeons now? Glad you took my advice, huh? Oh, that's right, Tia was looking for you. Hey, Maxim. I was about to have dinner. Would you care to join me? Love to. I need something special, Maxim. Wait a minute, okay? This sharks it on the table. Ta-da! This fish pot pie made of Navarroa, the fabled fish. Hmm, so this is Navarroa, huh? I've heard of it before, but never seen it. I know, I've never seen it either. What's it taste like, I wonder? Let's dig in. No, well, let's see. Yudakimasu! How is it? We... well... Ugh. What shall I say? Hmm... <clears throat> I mean, um, Tia, why don't you try some? I will. Here goes. And? This is pretty bad. That's what it is. You think so, too? It's not your cooking. It's the fish, don't you think? Why is this called the, fa the fabled fish, then? Because it tastes so bad that nobody eats it. Something like that. Oh, I'm so disappointed. I wanted to cook something really tasty for you. Well, maybe it's not that bad if you cover it with lemon or something. See, it's not bad. Well, I guess you could eat it eat it that way. See, it's already tasting bad. Yeah, you're right. How odd. Maybe that's why it's called the fabled fish. Huh, at least brought us a cheerful evening. <laughs> I guess so. Oh, I'm stuffed. Let me get some tea. Here you are. Thanks. Say, Maxim. Yeah. Why are you always in battle? And why are you only at level 1 despite being always in battle? Oh, I mean, you're, you're level 2 now, but like... When you just came to see me earlier, you were clearly fighting monsters and you are at level 1. Let's not make this a thing, okay? I, I started off on like level minus 3. Why do you ask such a thing all of a sudden? You're the only one fighting monsters. Not many people fight to live. Why you? I've been fighting ever since I can remember. I've never asked myself why. I've never met anyone quite like you before. Oh, thanks for dinner. I'll make it up to you sometime. Don't worry about it. It's no fun to eat, to eat alone anyway. Join me again sometime, okay? I'd love to. Eating is something I do ve I do very well, you see. Well, bye. Start on minus twenty. Oh. Bad news, everyone. What is it? A horde of monsters appeared in the cave on the way to Sundleton. Are you sure about that? It's horrible. Daisy, will the monsters come to this city too? Oh, I don't think they will, but... Unfortunately, that's not the only problem we've got on our hands. What do you mean? The monsters have closed the door at the back of the cave. 
We can't get to Sunnelton without the key. That's not good. So, does anyone have any ideas about what we should do? No, no, I don't. For heaven's sake, what is really going on? Maxim, you must know something. As I see it, you're the only one in the, in the city that can take on these monsters. The North Cave monsters are weak. The real problem is the door is locked. Maxim, you're the only one who can get the key from the monsters. Please try. And the very first thing that I'm going to do is... Rest. That sound effect was weirdly timed to the game uh, lighting up again. Zero, thank you for the resub. You're almost to two years. Two years I've been an affiliate. It's bizarre. Didn't hear the sound effect on your end. Uh, I've I have been rife with uh, with technical difficulties, so that's probably why. Not gonna worry about it right now. But thanks for letting me know. I guess I'll try to figure something out later, maybe during break or something. Uh, let's save. Well, actually. Let's see if we can afford a spell. We cannot afford a spell. Even if I hadn't spent that money on uh, on a weapon, still couldn't afford it. Actually, um, considering that you're at 23 months, no, it, that's right, um, so it'd be next month that was, yeah. Uh, I, I was trying to math and I mathed wrong. Math too, math harder. You're free, my friend. The young woman went inside alone. I tried to stop her, but she wouldn't listen. She seemed different from other women I know. I felt like I shouldn't stop her. So yes, big change is now encounters are just directly on the field. Good, I'm glad that we still have charred news. Now, it's not as obvious right now because of the fact that um, it's only Maxim right now. Uh, this looks like somewhere I should maybe go for, right? There we go. But uh, I'm. Am I to understand that this game doesn't have the obnoxious, like, 
you set up your turn and eventually it'll happen and you don't really have a sense of when. proper turn order. Also, one unified run command. Uh, so that's going to be... I don't know what this is. Oh, that's defend, which I obviously shouldn't have done on, you know, a back attack, but I did it. Items and we got our spells, which right now we only have these. Inside. Defend is a waste turn. In most cases, sometimes it can be useful. Um, yeah, good with that configuration. That's scenario. Oh, that's your key items. Change is probably, um... Rearranging the party. There's an actual sort item now. So I don't have to worry about uh, futzing around with it. IP, I'm gonna take it as um, basically like this game's um, anger spell. Whatever you want to call it, as like. There are several games with uh, that sort of mechanic and they all call it something different. sure that you have uh, a sense of the controls from an early age here. Box, life source. I think I'll keep, I'll, I'll hold on to the life sources until I, I have at least two party members. I probably really don't need to, but that's what I'm doing. Have I played Lufia 2 before? I want to say that I did, especially considering the fact that I thought that Lufia 1 was by Natsume, which it isn't, and then Lufia 2 was published by Natsume. So I want to say I probably did at some point. Not sure if I get spells and chests in a few years. The spells are only only with money foods. Pushed. Ah. 
Oh, jeez. Spells from the chest in the 104 dungeon. The pit of 100 trials, as it were. Yeah, the existence of uh, of that 104 dungeon obviously is not a mystery to me, uh, seeing as it's a thing that you can do for Archipelago. Some enemies you can't back attack. Go down yet. Watch for the enemies that back attack you. Okay, so I can, in fact, uh, stun from across blocks like that. Bad escapes. Calls companions. Oh, this is, uh, this is unpleasant. Um... This is very unpleasant. Eventually got there. Power source. Oh, and they come back. Oh, cool. I'm just gonna get casually attacked by both of these. I forgot a thing. Good. All right. What did I? What did I forget? Or jump down here. Oh, yeah. 
Oh. Oh. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. I'm at a jar. Oh, and there's just an option for strongest now. Um, item information should be X. X for that. It's, it straight up said so. And that takes us to here. Yeah, definitely need a tool for that. Okay, now it's a save spot. And that's gonna be... I'm guessing this is health, this is magic, this is save, okay. I'm saving just before boss. I won't give you the key to the door! You know, there's not much that we can do other than just attack. I don't know what this does, and I can't press X or select to, uh... Well, right now it doesn't do anything. I, I imagine it's like, some items have activations, and so you activate them from that menu. Oh, that's how you use the IP. To not always upgrade gear. Very straightforward fight, mostly because there's nothing that I could really do. It's the key to the door. Get it. How could the lizard man be smart enough to steal the key? Besides, why should the lizard man steal the key at all? He gains nothing by disrupting human life. Just don't get it. This has never happened before. Do you wish to know why, Maxim? Who are you? How'd you know my name? I can see the future. I know your name and that you've come here. Who are you? Never mind. Don't you want to know why monsters are smarter in attacking humans? Do you know why? Are you aware of the ball of red light that appeared a couple of days ago? Yes. 
Yes. Everything that's happened has been because of that light. What? I can't believe that a ball of light has that kind of power. I understand your doubt. It is incredible, but true. But time has begun to change. Now a mere wave, later a gigantic s uh, now a mere wave, later a gigantic swell of an attack on humanity. It's ridiculous. Why are you telling me this? Because you have the power. The power to confront that swell. Yes, you. Wait a minute. It's true that my that fighting is my job, I know, but I don't have such great power. What is this ball of light anyway? Is it monster or human? I need to know. What can I do against this humongous enemy of all humanity? It's not just you. There are others in this world who can confront this evil power. You are destined to go on a journey to meet those people and fight against evil. A journey to fight? That's right. When that ball of light appeared, your destiny was sealed. Will that ball of light really bring misfortune? And I have the power to handle that? This is all I can tell you. Whether or not you believe me and go on your journey is totally up to you. But wait! My name is Iris. I am here to ascertain your future. If you go, we may meet again. Well, that was weird. What just happened? Before we do that, let's uh, restore our stats. Now I can one-shot these guys. I might have been able to before, but like not, um, no guarantees, basically. I mean, yeah, it makes sense that uh, the damage would not necessarily be, like, guaranteed. Also, this is not where I need to go. Yeah, when I hit for 13. And 12, even worse. I should have the money to do that. 422, yeah. I think it was over here. out of that. Use the dorky. Of course, stands, stands to reason that there will still be random battles in the overworld. Ooh. This mosquito is biting. This is definitely not what it is. straight up gating us there. Let's fight against a zoo bat. Weird that they would have a bat out in the open. Oh 
idea. Panic, 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 panic. panic. Huh? That earthquake is a pretty big one. Wait a minute. Okay, I thought I thought that uh, two was misspelled. <laughs> Welcome to Granny's spell shop. Okie doke, we have a yelling spell now. Hmm. Upgrading the weapon a little bit. But I want to go big or go home. The giant man stomping. So you but you would rather believe that it's a giant man stomping than that it is a catfish. But aren't you an adult? I guess the kids believe. Alright, don't, don't, uh, I, I appreciate the, the enthusiasm, Joel, but don't tell me all of the things that I need to do. If I feel like I need help, I will ask, but please let me play the game the way that I'm going to play it. I did, I did agree with getting a healing spell as soon as possible, that is, that's, you know, that follows, basically. Like, I'm not necessarily going to do all of the things the way that you would do them. Welcome to California. So are, are there large catfishes in California that cause earthquakes? Is that what does it? <laughs> it's probably what causes them. How much money do we get from fights here? Probably not enough to justify that, uh... That's a lot of damage that we're taking. I was gonna grind for money, but like, I don't know how worth it it is. I wonder... okay, I would have to hit it from the other side. So the, so the old men uh, rant about the, uh, the catfish in real life, too. I mean, that's how you know it's true, right? <laughs> when the people in your neighborhood start doing the things that you would expect them to do in a video game.
tectonic plates. Hogwash. Sounds like something out of a Harry Potter game. Chopboard. Yeah, I guess the chopboard is not actually good. Just straight up cannot equip that. And chop your veggies. Tell by the way that it was flashing. I got the 400 now, actually. I think I might go back and get that weapon upgrade. How much does the end cost? Well, that seems like a pretty good sleep. What yeah, about capsule monsters? Let's pretend I don't. Okay. Interesting. The hmm. news is north between Sundleton and Owen's Kingdom. And that seems like something that we should probably do, actually. So now we've properly upgraded our weapon. Let's go see if we can catch us a chocobo. Although if it's a capsule monster, we might need a capsule. Like, I'm, I know that these capsule monsters exist, and that's a thing that I already knew. But like, I don't know how much it works like Pokémon. Right now, let me just wonder. Because, like, I probably have played this game before, but it's been such a long time that I don't remember anything about it. I just know some of the, uh... Some of the, the, you know... Broad strokes of the game. The boomerang damage is all I'll hold off on that for now. Maybe I'll go deal with the catfish first. And then we'll uh we'll see if we can catch a Pokemon. Dare you die? You know what? Up yours. I do wish that you could use the the sword swing to. Um, Attack preemptively. 
So like you stun something and then you slash it and that gives you a preemptive strike. Oh, I don't want to use reset. Be brave and dive in and you will find the way. Could be talk ah! Ooh, fourteen. Mess you up. Uh, actually, that one looked different, but uh, maybe it's just me. You know me. I I will look for secrets when there are obviously. Two of them. Oof. Definitely need to heal. I think I can take one out. I definitely need to, to take one out in order to uh, make any progress in that fight. Power source. Which again, I know I should probably use immediately, but uh, I do want to wait until I have at least, you know, a couple more party members, maybe? Unless I really feel like I'm being outmatched. I am concerned about the fact that it needed to be checking situation. You never know, you need all 300 of them. I mean, if it's anything like the first game. All I really need to do is uh, make sure that the final boss can't actually attack me. Maybe a triangle pointing at me. I can do that. The lake key. I probably need that. Actually, 
Is there anything else here? On the walls. I am probably going to, to be doing a lot of like checking for secrets that don't exist. And that's perfectly fine. I do that. I like boxes. This wall lies the path to the ordeal that awaits you. I definitely feel like I'm missing something. Well, that was neat. Well, miracles are a thing in this game, too. The, chest. the problem is, I'm not going to be able to use this miracle because I'm alone. Oh, mama. Yeah, I might want to heal up before I deal with, uh, with those two. Ooh, charred moots are... Uh, Very low restore. Welcome to the gauntlet. Will you survive? If you survive, please come again. I should hope it's a nice reward given what they're making me do. One million gold, geez, can you imagine? Correct. Next up appears to be more eagles, but I probably want to heal up first. That dive didn't seem to do any more damage than a regular attack. Maybe it's like attack all or something? In which case, well, it's only not some right now. Well, that's our first, uh, our first evasion of the game. Oh, I think we've got it. Let's 
so uh, there we go. So 41 diff so 5 plus defense and plus 5 agility. No eagle rock reload. probably isn't anything else here. Yeah, I thought that room was like going to be leading into like a boss or something, but no, it's just an enemy gauntlet. And I'm guessing that this is going to be... that there are going to be a few of these throughout the game probably, eh? Not really? Well, maybe I should have healed after that. Guess what I get to do again. left. That was a risk and it paid off. Not sure what y'all are talking about with Eagle Rock. It it could be a reference to something else, or it could be an actual rare spawn in that box. All right, well, thanks for dropping by, Tyrion. Again. 
definitely getting different uh, enemy sets this time. Because I don't think I got a mosquito last time. Presumably, if Eagle Rock is actually a thing, it probably is a thing that drops from the Eagles. I mean, that would be the obvious thing. It's the movie the Eagle Rock. Do you smell what the Eagle Rock is cooking? Uh, should we go on health? I think. Well, maybe I'll use a chart. I mean, what do you know this time? Eh, who doesn't know about the rock? Let's be real. Interesting, so Strongest did not equip the mock one. Good on health this time. I hope Dwayne Johnson and The Rock meet someday. Here, but uh, it's not going to be any better than what we already have. Michael Bay, the most explosive body of water in the world. kind of standing there and all of a sudden just explodes for no reason. First of all, I'm going to save so that I don't have to do that gauntlet a third time. Okay. 
super radical and rude. Oh, I see. I see. There we go. Heck. You can catch a frog. Big old catfish. That's a big old catfish. Good, someone's finally made it this far, although I'd never expected anyone so weak. <laughs> no use fighting, go home before you hurt yourself. <laughs> These earthquakes, is it you who's responsible? I was bored, I created the earthquakes hoping someone would come to me. Your earthquakes are, are troubling everyone. Give it up. Well, I'll think about it, but only if you need me. Of course, that won't happen. Probably should have healed first, but um, we're here now. Oh dear. I definitely should have healed first. Well, at least I saved. I'm gonna go look around the dungeon a little bit more. Maybe there's something that uh, I haven't found. Another chalkboard. Dang. Yeah. I, I came to realize that uh, attacking first was probably not the correct course of action. Also good to know that uh, it's hard wipes in this game. Unlike the other game where it just takes you to the nearest town and uh, you lose half your money. This game is just a hard wipe and you go back to uh, the last save.
And so the legendary hero dies because he forgot to heal himself. Pretty much. Oh, come on. Should have joined, but then what? What would we be fighting for? More health coming into this fight this time. Although not enough to take another attack here, so. I don't think I need to fight those. Shoot the arrows in the right order. What order did I kill them in? Aha! Bug killer. Now we can kill bugs without worrying about the repercussions or something. Uh, we lose an attack point, but can we activate this? Okay. Now I know what to look for, and I can. This also has. I'm gonna call it an activation. Mostly because, like, I just watched someone actually beat Angband. And that has, like, artifacts that you activate. Oh, geez. Is it ever a bug killer? See what this activation does. Bomb attack, and this guy's fake. Uh, fake is increased agility. Bomb attack, and that's all happens. Let's give it a try. That was not worth it. Not against a single enemy at the very least. Boom.
Okay. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna escape the dungeon. Go back to town. And uh, see if there's any better armor than we can get. The answer appears to be no. Oh, there's uh... yeah, there's some better things that we can get. There we go. We've improved our situation a little bit. Let's uh, let's go to the the spell shop as well. I don't think I'm gonna need drowsy. I mean, it might be good to have, but like, also... Guaranteed I'm not gonna use it. I can't use this spell. Okay, so there's still, like, limitations on who can use what. Alright, Not again. Okay. I definitely got our foot in the door in this game. And although I've had a little bit of a rocky start in some aspects, this is already shaping up to be a much better game than the first Lufia. And we're going to continue this after the break. So y'all can take a moment, get some to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth. And in about 10 to 15 minutes, we will um, keep on going and uh, see if we can do anything about that catfish. So, I'll see you in a bit.